Welcome to OFAR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the Klepstad bed frame from IKEA. For this build, you need a hammer, a good pair of scissors, the two Allen keys that IKEA provides you with, and another person to help you in some of the steps. So the first step is to grab the rolled up headboard and put it in this orientation. Then unfold the bottom part of the headboard so these two holes are visible. Also fully unroll the top of the headboard as shown. Then go to the top of the headboard and roll it back like this. Make sure this piece of metal is in this orientation. Now grab the right leg and place it on the right side of the headboard as shown. The right leg should have a little square shaped hole. Next, grab a larger allen key and one screw. The screw will be going into this hole. Now go to the left side of the headboard with the left leg. Attach the left leg with the screw using the larger allen key. The screw will be going into this hole. Next, fold the bottom of the headboard like this. Then go to the left side and grab yourself a screw that's shorter than the other screws and the smaller allen key. The screw will be going into this hole. Now put the screw through the leg hole as shown. Then go to the right side and grab yourself the same shorter screw and the smaller allen key. The screw will be going into this hole. Now again, put the screw through the leg hole as shown. So for these next few steps, you'll need to elevate the headboard by either stacking books underneath the legs or just ask someone to hold down the bottom of the headboard. You can also hold it down yourself, but you might find it a bit awkward. So go to the right side and grab yourself one screw and the larger allen key. Make sure the bottom of the headboard isn't sticking up and screw in the screw into this hole. Now go to the left side and repeat this step with one screw and the larger allen key. Next, put the headboard to the side to free up some space. Now grab the front of the bed frame and put it in this orientation. Make sure these two holes are facing down and also grab the left and right leg. Again, the right leg will have a little square hole. Then place the right leg like this. Then grab one screw and the larger allen key. The screw will be going into this hole. Now grab the left leg and place it in like this. Also grab one screw and using the larger allen key, tighten the screw into this hole. Next, bring in the right side of the bed frame and put it in this orientation. The thinner part should be facing down when you attach both pieces together. So flip the front of the bed frame like this and attach both pieces as shown. To secure both pieces, grab two screws and the larger allen key. The two screws will be going into these two holes. Now grab the left side piece and again, make sure the thinner part is facing down. Then attach both pieces together as shown. Then grab two screws and the larger allen key. The two screws will be going into these two holes. Now bring in the headboard and put it in this orientation. These two holes on the headboard should be visible and grab yourself four of these screws. Now you'll be attaching the left and right side pieces to the headboard. You may need another person to help you out in this step. So for the left side, screw in two screws into these two holes using the larger allen key, but make sure you don't screw them all the way in. 
Now do the same for the right side. Again, just don't screw them all the way in. Next, bring in the middle support beam and make sure these irregular shaped holes are facing up. Also grab two of these legs, two washers, and two longer screws. Now grab one leg and place it underneath the beam as shown. Then put the washer on top and secure everything with one screw using the smaller allen key. Repeat the same steps for the other leg. Next, bring in the middle beam and place it in like this. Also grab four of the smaller screws and screw them all the way in into these four holes. Then go to the back of the headboard and tighten all four screws. Now grab four plastic caps and hammer them into these four spots. The hammering in process will look something like this. Next, go to the headboard and fold the fabric over like this. Then grab four of these plastic hooks and secure them to the sides of the bed frame like this. Now grab the headboard cover. If you want to get rid of the creases and wrinkles, this is the time to do it with an iron and ironing board. If you don't care, then proceed to the next step. So now put the headboard cover over the headboard like this. Next, zip up the cover so it will stay in place. Now grab two of these wider plastic hooks and secure them as shown. Then grab a good pair of scissors and these nine felt strips. So you can start anywhere on the bed frame, but the process of installing these strips will look something like this. Don't worry that you'll have extra material on each end.
The next step is to use your scissors to cut any extra material. Now repeat the same process for the other six felt strips. It will look something like this. Next, grab one slot of bed base and hook each end as shown. Make sure the polyester ribbon is facing down. Repeat the same step with the other slot of bed base. You should now have a fully assembled Klepstad bed frame from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.